The Druze in Israel have long been viewed as a loyal minority, but in the Golan Heights, the situation is very different, with loyal Druze facing harassment and threats. Around 30 years ago, the Golan Heights law was passed in the Knesset, which annexed the territory to the state of Israel. This law granted the local Druze communities the right to become Israeli citizens. Turns out that even today, there are still Druze in the Golan Heights who refuse to become part of the state of Israel. M is a Golan Heights Druze who had a dream of initiating a social program to benefit his fellow Druze in northern Israel. But now M's life is in danger because he proudly holds an Israeli citizenship. That's my crime. I decided to be an efficient citizen. There is a lot of pressure against those who are citizens. On Syrian holidays and festivals, you can see many Syrian flags and people standing on a famous hilltop, shouting out to their friends and families in Syria. The non-for-profit movement, the Golan Organization for Arab Towns, is enlisted legally by the Israeli authorities, but that does not bother its leaders who express pro-Syrian views. The organization declares its goal to fight against the Israeli occupation in the Golan Heights. This is the absurdity. They manage our kindergartens and educate a new generation of haters of the state. M tells us that the publications on the organization's website incite against him. One of the talkback writers responded to a story on the site by writing that M must be executed and suggested to stone him in the town square. Due to the threats, M took his family and belongings and left the northern town of Majdil Shams. I try not to walk outside a lot. After these threats and when I see what this organization is doing, I feel threatened, me and my family. M's attorney has petitioned against the leaders of the Golan Organization for Arab Towns for the publication of slander. We claim that the fact that the organization stated on its website that one who enlists for Israeli citizenship should not be allowed to work in benefit of the Golan is what laid the groundwork for all the negative talkbacks against him. And so the organization slandered my client and made him a target for hate.